Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for the Lamplighters League. We are, we're making some good progress. We are, it's getting tough in a few places, although we've got a pretty strong team. So we're going to keep things going here. I'm excited to get to the end and kind of see where things go. But uh, let's get in here and talk to some people. Has anyone ever hired a Sanguine Club assassin to kill another Sanguine Club assassin? Oh, sure. All the time. Happened to me once. Harlan Colburn. <laughs> good mate. Fellow sniper. He nearly took my ear off. What happened? I'd been hired to protect an Earl. He'd been hired to kill the Earl. And you didn't know you'd killed a friend until after the job was over? Oh no, I knew. It was a week-long stakeout. I saw him through the scope. He saw me too. He radioed me on the third day. We had a little chat. That must have been hard. Of course. But we both knew there's only one way to show the proper respect to a fellow guildmate. And that's to give it your all. Harsh. <laughs> okay. Mother Amina, I have something to say. I have nothing to say to you. Yes, I have blood on my hands. But everywhere I look, I see pain. Unnecessary pain. How can I stand by when villains go on a post? Debate is for those who lack conviction. I don't want to debate. I just... If you had seen what I saw... I have seen it. All that you have seen and more, I have seen. But I chose peace. And every day, I choose it again. Unless it is to request healing. Do not speak to me again. Harsh. Here we are, Mr. Sawyer. Waiting to get shipped out for another flirt with death. Yep. Same as in the war. Hurry up and wait. I hate waiting. For anything. Say, you, uh... Hmm? You find any quiet places on the island? To think and such? Hmm. <laughs> I found a place, yes, very quiet. Yeah? <laughs> maybe, uh... Maybe you could show me. Are you offering me a distraction? Something to take your mind off your troubles. I like where you're going with this, Eddie. I like it very much. Alrighty then. <laughs> we'll let them do what they're doing and we'll just stay out of it. Um, we got quite a few supplies. We do have some skill points. I think all of our main people are already maxed out on skills or at least maxed out to the point where all we've got left is her 12 and 1 there. Uh, I know these two are maxed out, right? You are as well as... Da -da -da -da, you... Really, what it comes down to is deciding who I want to bring as my fourth person on the missions that we need a fourth person. She's very good, and she's a sneak, which is also very beneficial. I do, I liked the idea of him. But honestly, I'm not sure if I like him as much as her. I mean, he's got some cool things, but I might just stick with her. Truth be told, this guy would have been really good as well at some point. He does have some really nice abilities um, that could be very, very useful too. I think we keep working on her, quite frankly, because uh, I think ultimately she's just our best bet. She's going to be able to shoot from very long range. I've always liked snipers in games like this, XCOM and anywhere else. So I really like the idea of working on her, I think. Um, definitely getting her up to her super weapon, things like that. We don't need to upgrade her yet. We might can hold off to these points until we know that we're going to take four people. But I just, I think I think she might be my, my go-to. I think that's going to be the case. Uh, the one thing I would say is we could bring her along to get her some wider cards. I had not thought about that. It's hard to bring her along because our other people are so strong, but she definitely needs better cards. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, okay. I think... I think we give her some more skills and we try to figure out if we can bring her along. We just need our fourth person to be good as well. Um, I do like the lockdown really good. Her speed's increased by three. It's the only two we can get. We can't get these other ones right now anyway. I mean, her having a good um, Overwatch could be useful at some points. I mean, we definitely want to work up to the trick shot here. I don't know. We might not give her anything else, but we might still bring her on to this next mission, honestly. If it's uh, not too hard of a mission. 
Uh, the next mission was going to be... Ooh, which one was it? Oh, hello. What is that? Strum Talisman 2. Oh, this is actually a really easy mission, unless I'm looking at it wrong. It is a prep work mission, but it's optional. So is this one. This one gives us Strum Garments 2. We don't know what those do. Battlefield, after taking damage for the first time, human minis instantly recover health? Really? I think we might do this one just because it is a simple mission. It does give us something we can take a look at and we can get her some cards. Yeah. I mean, this one's a little bit better from the perspective of skill points. But I think this one would be a good one. Um, anybody that we need to like reset their stuff on? I mean, Strum's just going to get powerful, but we're going to go on a Strum mission here, so that's going to be okay. We don't have a lot of intel right now. This does not look like it's going to take intel. We'll get us some ink. So we'll send uh, Watch good old your back. Latif there. This one would cost our last remaining intel. So our agent recruitment mission. Do we need more agents? Probably not. But we can go at least go look at it and see what they look like, right? I mean, that, that's probably an okay thing. Yep. I think we still summon somebody on this one. I might regret giving up my last intel, but Stay let's go sure. for it. Let's see if we can who, who we can find. At least we can make an educated decision about what we're going to do there. This would be a good one to go for. Uh, it is the tomb, though, so we definitely don't want to go for it yet. I'd like to do the prep missions first. So let's do this one first. And destroy corrupted sarcophagi bound for the tomb of everlasting. Cool. And we will bring her along. Um, in place of who? Maybe our healer? Leave these two to be able to kind of control things. It's a little scary to get rid of our healer here. I do just realize they don't have all their equipment. Um, let's change your equipment. Do we have a spare med kit? We do have several spare med kits. Give you a med kit. Um, yeah, I think we change her out. This is this could be dangerous, but I think we change her out. So at least we have one of each type now. And then you still have a medkit, right? You're still good there. Just a medkit one. Let's replace that for a medkit two at least. And we don't really need the frag grenade, I don't feel like. Um, it feels a signature charge, firebomb. Firebombs aren't going to help on this mission that much. What is it we need for this mission again? We need, um, they're vulnerable to water, yes? Like water type stuff, which I don't think we have any water type stuff, do we? The Thunderbomb still might be worth bringing. I might just bring a Hasten Flask just, just to give us something there. And then you've got Reload Abilities, Reduce Cooldowns by 1. I do like that. Upon using a buff or debuff consumable, the agent gains 1 AP. On suffering a Stress Break. Yeah, that's pretty good, but not really what we're looking for. I think we're good with everything else. There's some good stuff here, but I think I like the hit chance and everything else in between. All right, we'll go with that. Let's see if we can get a good mission here with getting her some some cards, really, is really what we're trying to get. We aren't the only ones preparing for an attack on the Tomb of the Everlasting. Strum has ordered that several of his cursed sarcophagi be recalled to port to a port under his control. From there, they will be shipped back to the tomb, the place where I now suspect they belong for 5,000 years. This is no restitution. Strum is reinforcing the tomb's defenses. Rather than face those sarcophagi on the highest, my agents will intercept them and destroy them before they reach the destination. Cool. All right, let's go. These sarcophagi have got to go. Just don't blow up anything valuable, yeah? Like, say, me. Me. All right, let's get you. And, uh, man, we haven't run a sneak in forever. This will give us some options for some of the things that we've had to skip in the past. I don't see anything immediately lootable. These crates, vases, and containers have been picked clean by the court to feed soldiers at the nearby outpost. City outpost. Alright, so we do have a bunch of baddies here. Nothing that we can interact with at the moment with what we have currently in our lineup. Hmm. Because all these guys are immune to stuff, right? Immunity real-time takedowns, and you guys are immune to real-time takedowns as well, right? Yep. So, doesn't mean they're not, they're 
they aren't immune to all takedowns, just immune to real-time ones. Um, trying to figure out the best way to look at this. Quit yawning. What's wrong with you? Get stuffed. I was up all night building the new armory shed. Is that what the commotion was about? Yeah, one of those mummies burned down the last one. Strum duty. Never boring. All right. We got to figure out how we're going to open up here. Honestly, we might just engage. Oh, hey, there's a dude back there we can actually do something with. Let's see if we can at least get rid of him. That would be uh, useful. Come on. Maybe there. Maybe not. This always works. Except when it don't. Come on, dude. No, not you. It's supposed to be the other dude. At least get rid of you then, baby. All right, I guess I rid of one at least. Not sure why this guy didn't move. I'll check it out. Yeah, we just lost that one. That's unfortunate. Um, it's a really tough group here. Um, not sure the best way to engage here, other than just literally engage here. <laughs> like you know, like I don't know the best way to do this other than to do it. All right, well let's just get in here. Let's just figure it out. I'm gonna hit four of them, but honestly, I'm okay with that, I think. Light them up. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of whatever. Don't really have to worry about um, cover here, because none of these guys really are affected by cover. These guys are all melee and the two z uh, mummy dudes, or not mummy dudes, the uh, two, uh, whatever they're called. Anubis guys are uh, gonna throw bombs and stuff. Oh, wow, these actually. Got knocked down harder than I would have expected. Do we do more damage than we come out of that initial thing? I hadn't really noticed that before. If that is in fact the case, then I should have been doing that all along. Would really like to get this guy low. Honestly, I think we need to come back to him because he's kind of a finisher, right? I mean, she's a finisher too, to be fair. I'm tempted to start with her trick shot here because she can actually get a couple of these guys at the same time, I think. Uh, yeah, right there. She can get all of those guys. I see you. Pretty good chunk of damage there. Oh, I forgot that used up her last of her abilities, though. Um, So we do have several that are very, very weak right now. Honestly, it might be best just to use his thing as well. Oh, he can't quite hit the one back there. Still, he can have all these other ones, and that's pretty strong. This is how we say hello in Texas. Now that was impressive. Okay. And we still have a shot from him, so which is awesome. Hmm. The initial strike's what kills him, right? So she can run up and do a strike here and kill this guy and get an AP back. I'm not here to play games. Show him what for. Right? Oh, is that not what kills him? Maybe it's the next one that kills him. This could actually backfire on me. Uh, I would like to try and kill you. Okay, so that does give me the AP back. Okay, so then we'll get these other two. I think it's with the uh, the ghostly people where they turn into little wisps. I think the first kill on them is what kills them. Um, does she not get... Oh, so that didn't count as a kill. I'm confused about the kill stuff now. <laughs> uh, we will go ahead and just do some damage to this guy. And call that good enough. I'm just getting warmed up. Actually, that was pretty good. Oh, and he's going to resurrect that a little bit. Up again. But we should be okay here. All right, a little bit of a bomb there. I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, she can just go ahead and... Oh, she can't quite. Never mind. Um, what do we want to do here? Well, poison's the other thing I was thinking of. Not water. Poison. Do these guys suffer more poison? I think that's what they suffer from, right? Yeah, double damage from poison. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so... You... I mean, I can just do a light him up here just to get Come something. I mean, it's gonna miss, but at least it gets them marked, and that's really the important thing. Although I think this guy in the front was technically marked already. It's not a very good chance that we actually get this guy. 
Now we got one, which doesn't mean she should be able to finish him off here. He is bleeding now, though. I charge extra for this. Oi! Hands off! And he's poisoned now. Hmm. I want her to be able to move. But I also want to finish this guy off. So. I, I just don't know why she's not getting the extra <laughs> movement. All right. That time she did. Okay. I don't know why this wasn't happening. Uh, So she does have one AP. Can she actually move over enough to, kill, to kick this dude? She cannot quite. Okay. Well, let's get something with her. We have snapshot, which does do shred, but he doesn't have anything there. We have kill shot. So kill shot will do a pretty big chunk of damage. Snapshot will do not very. Actually, kill shot's gonna be the best move here, right? Because or aim shot. Aim shot will do 97% hit chance, 10% crit. Kill shot is 97% chance, 40% crit. So basically the same. On miss, he at least takes some damage. On hitting a marked target or killing any target, she gains 1 AP. So he is marked. That's where that one comes into play. But whereas the aim shot does shred armor. He doesn't have any armor, so I think the kill shot is the best move here. They're very similar shots, though. She did get an AP back, which means she can do a snapshot here. Not a very successful snapshot. She just manticore? No. Um, still, let's try the snapshot. 27% chance that we don't even have to move over there. Blast. Nope. Okay. Then we will move over there with you. And actually, it looks like we might be able to finish you after all. Good work, chaps. All right. Very off. easy room area to clear. I'm assuming that we got a bonus damage because we initiated. I didn't think that was a thing. I thought I'd checked that before, but somehow we definitely did a lot of damage there. Um, I can go up top here. I feel like that is probably something we should at least check out real quick. Ether there. Healing elixir, which, you know, is pretty good. What we got back here? Medical kit 2. We already got one of those. I guess we could have come in without a medical kit too, but... We got plenty of supplies to build more, so I'm not really concerned about that. Um, optional do the supply crate, which is over here. I do think we will run over here and check that out. Port settlement. Okay, so we actually have some guys that we can knock out this time. Um, problem is, if we use her, then we will be engaged. Which is not maybe ideal. A letter. Dr. Edward Harris, as Egyptian Acquisitions Director for the British Museum, I know that you're expecting a receipt of a number of ancient Egyptian sarcophagi, Old Kingdom era, roughly 2500 BC. I also know about your money troubles, the gambling debts, the less than prudent investments. I know about little Johnny's polio, the paralysis, and the expensive treatments he requires. I know a lot about you, doctor. I know that you stand, what you stand to lose. The institution that I represent has deep pockets and is very generous to its friends. All you need to do is edit a few ledgers and look the other way and your financial difficulties will be a thing of the past. Or refuse and wait for your sarcophagi. Who knows? Perhaps things will work out in your favor. You're a betting man, after all. Consider my offer, Dr. Harris. I will contact you soon. All right. Not too big of a surprise there. A little bit of corruption. Oh, we could get up here and probably get a good start on everybody. Although she's not really the right person to bring up here. Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind. Let's grab you. Because you might be able to sneak up on that guy and... Eliminate him, maybe? Although I think he can see over here, can't he? He's like one of those guys that can... Won't be a minute. Oh, there we go. Just, she just need to get rid of them. One more off the board. Okay. Oh, gotta be a little careful here. Why not? I think she might be about to trigger some things if they can run over here and investigate. Oh, they are coming over here. Come on, come on. Hide, 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 hide. 
Are they coming? They're looking. Can almost eliminate these two guys up here in the front without aggroing too many others. Handful of coins glitter beneath the water's surface. Too bad we already used up both of his things because that didn't work out in our favor. Yeah, even though I do want to start from some level of surprise, it might just be better to knock out a big group of these guys with her. If we can get a good angle on it. Oh, like those guys in the back. Can't get a good angle. Never mind. Get two of them. I wonder what was that? Oh, did that thing just pop out of there? Oh, okay. Maybe it did. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Really have a good way to engage these. All right. All right. I was trying to get sneaky and it just didn't work out. That's all right. We will figure it out. Ten mobs remaining. Okay. Ooh, this actually might be pretty tough. Yeah. You only can see one? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> We're in trouble. What? Why could you... Only oh, this is really... This is really, really, really bad. Oh, my. Oh, we're in trouble. Um, run away as much as you can. Run away as much as you can. We are in big trouble. If he can, if he can't get some shots off, we are in major, major trouble. He might be dead right now. I, why can he not see them? That seems so unfair. I mean, I get that he was buying some tall boxes, but I still feel like he should be able to see them. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. All right. Uh, I mean, first off, he's got to, like, double move. Get out of there. We might be able to set up back here somehow. Don't really want them together. All right, let's just hunker down for a moment and see. Maybe we can initiate something after they kind of move here. My attempts to be sneaky backfired and actually made things worse. All right, can you, what can you see now? Oh, you don't even have your light up back yet. Wow, this is really bad. Um, we might need to retreat again just so he can get his light up back. I think he still maybe at most has two targets here. Oh, who invited you? Unless that group's not the worst. All right, I'm not going to add any targets until I see. Okay, he literally can only see one. Okay. Well. I mean, we have nothing. We have nothing here. I mean, honestly, the best thing we probably do is just do some Overwatch and then Overwatch over here, maybe with her. Uh, you don't really have an Overwatch, so we're just gonna ignore with you. We're just gonna evade with you. There's no time to waste. And then we're going to Overwatch with you. 
kind of up this way, and then hope that we can get a good shot here in a moment. Don't be shy now. This, this might be, this mission might have just backfired on us completely because of just some awkwardness. Oh, how did you, how did you sneak past there? At least we got a shot there. And a shot there. And some bleeding. Alright, a couple good shots. More bleeding. That is a lot of mobs. Oh, this is bad. Do you have more that you can see now? Okay, you have a lot more you can see now. This is probably okay. Wanna dance? Okay, that helps a lot. All right, two of them just fell over dead. <laughs> that helps a lot, a lot. <laughs> we might be able to kill off. I was going to kill you off right now. Honestly, we can kill any of you guys back up, back there off right now. All right, let's see who you can shoot. Uh, ideally, we would shoot with kill shot on the guys that are marked. Give her an AP back. That's only 67%. But this is not a kill. If it crits, it might be a kill, right? So... I think we take this shot here because it is a marked target. Oh, left it with such a sliver. Um, we can follow it up with a snapshot if we wanted to. It's not a very good shot though. That one might be a better one to snapshot here. Just to get it low and maybe she can go clean up some stuff. Okay. What can you clean up here? Again, I don't think this gets to the kill. But the follow-up should, right? Like, the follow-up's supposed to get us the kill here. Okay, that gets us the kill. Then this should get us a kill. Um, we could knock down this group, but then we'd be stuck up here. Oh, we can't knock down both these guys. Never mind. I mean, we could push him out of the way, but we still wouldn't be able to move. We can stick and move, which would blind him. If it crits, it knocks him down, and then we can still run away. I think that's our best bet. Try to get a blind here on him. Crit, crit, crit. Dazzling. All right, no? critting. We got the move now. She might still be in some big danger here. Put her behind heavy cover, though. That's our best chance. And then you, hopefully, can just kill this guy over here to the left. You're not going to be able to finish him, though. Oh, you do have two AP. Never mind. So you can do that and then finish him off with just a simple dual shot. Hope. Okay. Very unlikely that we're actually going to hit him, but... We got two chances at it. No, we did. Oh, we did get it. Okay, good. All right. Well, that got a lot taken care of, but it's still very, very scary. Oh, you still have some shots. Um, guess we will Overwatch to protect her a little bit. Don't move a muscle now. And by a little bit, I do mean a little bit. Hoping we at least shoot this guy. Not so fast. All right, that's a decent shot. Decent hit there. Are oh, you gonna go that way? Okay, this is weird. I mean, if we moved him up, he could do his little spray and bray, whatever it's called. She could also probably knock down a lot right now. Uh, three of them. Oh, he's kind of he's trying to call in some more guys, which not necessarily the best thing in the world for us. But yeah, I think we can. Honestly, I think we'd rather knock down the zombie than this dude back here. Plus, it gives her a little bit easier move to get out of there. 
Okay, we'll consider that here in a moment. Let's get him figured out with his... He doesn't have... Oh, he does still have light I'm up again still. So, one, two, three, four. All right, so he's got a few shots here. And a bunch of them missed. Wow. I mean, at least it's marked, but still, wow. That's pretty rough. Okay, so he just fell over dead. That's another one down. <laughs> All right, well, we're actually going to put a cut in there. We're going to come back, finish up this battle and, of course, this mission, and then we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.